The annual refresh of GoPro's flagship action camera has arrived with the introduction of the Hero 12 Black. To be frank, GoPro cameras tend to follow a similar pattern as Apple Watches, offering incremental updates from one model to the next. However, the Hero 12 has some unexpected new features that might not be all that surprising. On the other hand, last month DJI also came up with its latest action camera, the Action 4, which boasts a wide range of features to rival GoPro's offering. Now today, we'll be showing you a side-by-side -side comparison to help you decide which one deserves your investment, so without further ado, let's begin. Did you know that 73% of visitors are more likely to make their purchases soon after watching a product video? This makes it necessary to have a product demonstration or promo video for showcasing your product's potential values and benefits. At Product Video Studio, we are equipped with camera gear, tools, and most importantly, expertise to make your video captivating and engaging. Just send your products and we'll handle the rest. Contact us today to create something amazing together. Starting with the design, first of all, will some blue dots on the GoPro Hero 12 make a huge change? No. In all honesty, the Hero 12 appears to be quite similar to its predecessor, the Hero 11, with the primary distinction being the addition of blue dots in its body. Both Hero 12 and Action 4 have a typical and traditional action camera design with noticeable similarities in their size and weight, although the Action 4 is slightly lighter and more compact compared to the Hero 12. The practical difference in size and weight is unlikely to be noticeable in everyday use. Anyway, both Hero 12 and Action 4 are built to withstand impacts and shocks featuring durable constructions. They also offer the convenience of replaceable lens covers, allowing users to easily swap them out in case of scratches. The all-new Hero 12 now supports Max Lens Mod 2.0, which means you can enjoy a 36% wider field of view when shooting widescreen video and a 48% taller field of view for vertical video. However, it's worth noting that you'll need to make a separate purchase for this lens if you want to utilize these expanded viewing options. Furthermore, there are notable differences between the two in terms of their external texture. The Hero 12 comes with a rubberized exterior, while the Osmo Action 4 opts for a hard plastic composition. Additionally, the Osmo Action 4 employs a clever magnetic launching mount system for quick detachment. Once attached to its base plate, it seamlessly works with the same range of accessories. Now, on the other hand, the Hero 12 features fold-out tabs on its base, making it compatible with a wide variety of accessories and mounts from both GoPro and third-party manufacturers. While both mounting approaches are commendable, our preference leans towards DJI's innovation due to its efficient adaptability when switching between mounts, especially after acquiring a few base plates. Moreover, the GoPro Hero 12 Black has introduced 1-4x20 mounting threads, which means it can now work with standard camera mounts and accessories. This includes compatibility with items like the new 48-inch long extension pole and a waterproof shutter remote. Well, let's talk about the camera. The GoPro Hero 12 Black offers some features that professionals will find to be appealing. It allows you to capture HDR photos and videos at 5.3K with up to 30fps in a 16x9 aspect ratio and 4K resolution with up to 30fps in an 8x7 aspect ratio and 60fps in a 16x9 aspect ratio. Additionally, it introduces GP log encoding enabling you to capture a broader dynamic range in your content. Another valuable feature is the ability to synchronize time codes across an unlimited number of Hero 12 Black cameras. This facilitates easier editing of footage from multiple angles and ensures a perfect synchronization. With the new Max Lens Mod 2.0 accessory, the Hero 12 Black can record at an impressive 177 degree field of view in 4K at 60fps. In contrast, the Osmo Action 4's highest performance tops out at 4K resolution at 120fps, with the option to drop to 1080p for recording at 240fps. However, the Osmo Action 4 benefits from a significantly larger 1 slash 1.3 inch sensor compared to the Hero 12's 1 slash 1.9 inch sensor. This makes it an exceptionally proficient choice in low light conditions. Also, the Action 4 supports a 10 bit color that enables enhanced color depth, smoother gradations, and more realism. Now, deciding which stabilization system is better between DJI's Rocksteady and GoPro's HyperSmooth is a tough call. GoPro has introduced HyperSmooth 6.0 for further improvements, making the choice even more challenging. Both technologies excel at reducing camera shakes, resulting in exceptionally smooth footage. It's important to mention that the DJI camera seems to have a slightly better ability to stabilize content in low-light situations, possibly due to its larger sensor. However, in well-lit conditions, both systems perform at a closely matched level of excellence. Both cameras provide a similar set of features including options like time-lapse and hyperlapse modes, live streaming capabilities, webcam functionality, and easy connectivity with companion apps. 
One noteworthy feature of the GoPro is the innovative light painting mode, allowing users to easily create animated time lapses with people drawing in the air using sparklers or glow sticks. Unfortunately, this particular mode is not available with the Action 4. The interesting part is that GoPro has introduced wireless audio support for Apple AirPods and various other Bluetooth audio devices, including earbuds, headphones, and microphones. This feature simplifies the process of recording videos with voiceovers while on location. Additionally, you can use Bluetooth audio devices to give voice commands for remote control of your Hero 12, enhancing convenience and versatility. As per GoPro specifications, you can achieve up to 70 minutes of uninterrupted recording at the highest performance setting of 5.3K and 60fps using the Hero 12. If you opt for 5.3K at 30fps, you can get over 95 minutes of continuous recording and at 1080p 30fps, you can record for over 155 minutes. Remarkably, all these recording times are possible while having HyperSmooth 6.0 video stabilization active, making this camera an excellent choice for extended recording sessions. On the other hand, DJI advertises up to 160 minutes of recording at 1080p 24fps, so that's a really huge success for GoPro in terms of battery life. In short, the GoPro Hero 12 Black and DJI Osmo Action 4 are both top-of-the-line choices in the current world of action cameras, making them worthy options for anyone in search of a reliable and compact device. When it comes to the quality of the images they produce, the GoPro Hero 12 truly shines with its remarkable color reproduction and impressive higher resolution capabilities. In contrast, the Action 4 boasts a larger sensor, making it a superb choice for capturing excellent footage in low-light conditions. That's all for today, thanks for watching our video! Like and share with your friends if you find this video to be helpful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.